Hey everybody, VHS update for April 23rd, 2016. Which I got a lot of VHS updates today, so we're just gonna get started right away. So first one I got is the 1986 Neon Mickey re-release VHS of Mary Poppins. I do have the 1985 Neon Mickey release as well, which had the which has the artwork embedded into the case, but this is the 1986 reprint with the slide-in artwork. Here's the spine, the back. Sticker label, October 6, 1986. And it comes with a business reply card, which is really cool. And I'll have to check the safe to see if it has a black screen depth at the end. Pretty sure it will, actually. Next one is Christmas Lilies of the Field, the sequel to Lilies of the Field, which I have on VHS. 1984 MPI release. Spine back. Stars B Billy D. Williams and Maria Shell. Silver sticker label, no print date. Four under from Wool Cult PAF. I think I've got some other tapes before they're actually from that store. Next one, Desiree Industries, more than a thrift store, from 2000. This is actually a souvenir like VHS tape for a Christian thrift store titled Desiree Industries. Yeah, I think I get this because I do love uh, thrift store shopping, as most of you probably know. 6 minutes and 22 seconds. This is from 2000. So, I'm not even sure if Desiree Industries is even around anymore. Sticker label, oversized reels, no print date. So, yeah. So, yeah, this looks kind of interesting, so I figured I'd get it. Got a bunch of blank tapes. This is a, this is a T30 Max LVHS tape. Which means... SP mode is only 30 minutes, LP mode is 1 hour, and EP is an hour and 30 minutes. I like how it mentions all the different modes here. See, so yeah, I can only record up to an hour and a half of tape on this. That's interesting. I think I have some ideas of what I could do with this tape. Got Kodak T120. And a 6-pack of Kodak... Uh, T120s. As you can see, it's three, it's two three-packs stuck together. As it says, as a six-dollar Maryland rebate with the purchase of this special six-pack contains two 120 HD three-packs. So there you go. Rebate expired December 31st, 1995. So yeah. Next one is a Disney, is a extremely rare Disney Movie Club exclusive VHS. The 2006 VHS of Chicken Little. Yes. My fourth Disney Movie Club exclusive tape that I have. I know uh, Tyler uh, Kutzbach, or however you, say his, however you say his last name, has this tape as well. Spine. A spine. Top. The back. Yeah. Very cool that I found this extremely rare tape. Ink label Black Reels. June 13, 2006. Yeah. Very proud to have this very rare 2006 tape. The next three are MGM Movie Time tapes. First one's an M the first two are MGM Way Movie Times, and the other one's an MGM Movie Time. First one is Rush. Jason Patrick and Jennifer Jason Lee. Must be one of the very first MGM Movie Time releases because it's not the MGM Movie Time logo on the spine. Sides. Top and the back. I know Cinema Sickness has this tape. Sticker label, August 3rd, 1996. Mr. Majestic, Charles Bronson. I know Devaney Troy has this tape. Spine, other spine, top, back. Yep. Sticker label, it's kind of a little, kind of a little torn there because uh, the because uh, it got ripped by the uh, consignment sticker. Oh well. May 21st, 1998. And 
The Fog. Andrew Barbero, Jamie Lee Curtis. John Carpenter's The Fog. This is the original John Carpenter film. I hope to get the Rare 1006 Beach as the remake. Even though I hear it's not very good. Ink label, May 2nd, 2001. Next one's a Paramount Special Edition tape. Nick, Bringing Out the Dead, Nicolas Cage. 2000, 1999 film, 2000 VHS. Spine's all messed up right there, so I'll have to fix that. Spine's top, the back. And the bonus feature on here is the cast and crew interviews. And this film was co-produced by Touchstone Pictures. Sticker label. 36th week of 2000. See, I am gonna, I'm gonna, I am gonna have to fix this box somehow. Next one's an an Orion Home Video EP Mode VHS. FX Murder by Illusion. I also have the EP Mode VHS of the of FX2 spot, and I also have the MGM Movie Times of FX1 and 2 as well. Spine or spine, top and the back. It says dual pack right there. So I'm assuming this was released in a. This was part of an FX and FX2 uh, two pack. Sticker label red lid. December 1st, 1995. Next one's a Turner Home Entertainment EP mode VHS. Laser Mission. Brandon Lee, Debbie Mar Monahan, and Ernest Borgnine. His assignment, find the world's most dangerous laser weapon or take the heat. Her assignment, turn up the heat. In the style of Hard to Kill, Brandon Lee heats up the screen in this non-stop action adventure. Yeah, this is like a good, uh, cheesy action movie. Spine, a spine, top, and the back. And it's really very mature for language and extreme violence. I don't really care, though. This is my second turn home team at EP Mo Beach. I see them being News at 11. Stick label Red Lid, July 3rd, Night High 5. Next one the 2000 full name screen cassette of 007 The World Is Not Enough. My second 007 demo tape. That one being Goldeneye. Spine, other spine, top, and the back. Pause the video if you want to read the information. Yep. Ink label, red lid. December 8th. No. February 8th, 2000. My bad. Yeah. I think this is my third MGM screener VHS with a red lid. Next one is the 2002 promotional copy of Sunshine State. Take a vacation with John Salis. Promotional copy not for sale or rent. And the front cover opens up like this. Spine. A spine. Top. The back. This is Sony Pictures Classics film. Sticker label. 36th week of 2002. Next one. The 1988 VHS of Agatha Christie's Miss Marple, A Mirror's and Out. The best of BBC, the Miss Marple series. This is from the TV series. I have a lot, I have most of the movies, so I figure I just get this tape. Spine, other spine, top, the back. Party Murder turns into the real thing. This is a Fox tape co produced by BBC Video. Label. It says, label says 1990, so this is a reprint. 52nd week of Night High 3 has this barcode here, so this will probably have the white screen F clicking tone at the end. Next one is Star Trek 25th Anniversary Special, Night High 2 VHS. 
spine, other spine, top, and the back. Voyage through a celebrated past and into the an exciting future. Yeah. And this was released to uh um to co endure the Star Trek 20th anniversary box uh VHS box set with the uh Enterprise mural. And it came with this thing. Which is well, this is still sealed, so I'll be keeping it that way since this is very valuable. Sticker label and label. The 24th week of Night Tide 2. This one I'm assuming will probably have the clicking white screen at death at the end. And hold on a second. I'm going to put this back in the case. Okay. The next few are Benny Hill VHS tapes. Benny Hill's Video Spotlight. Over 90 minutes of the best of Benny Hill. Spine, other spine, top and the back. There's a list of other Benny Hill videos available. Yep. And yes, I do, I do really enjoy the uh, Benny Hill uh, theme song. Sticker label. August 16, 2000. The Best of Benny Hill. The British Sterling Collection. Spine, other spine. Top and the back. This is a Republic Pictures tape produced by Artisan Entertainment. Ink label. November 29, 1998. Benny Hill Who Done It, also from the British Sterling Collection. Spine, other spine, top and the back. Another Republic Picture Tape co produced by Artisan. Ink label, November 28th, 1998. Benny Hill The Waiters, also the British Sterling Collection. Spine, other spine. Top and the back. Another Republic Picture Tape co by Artisan. Ink label. November 28th, 1998. And that's it for the Benny Hill VHS tapes. And I'll show one more tape of this part and then we'll stop. Last tape of this part is Ernie Kovacs, a collection of sketches from the hit TV series. Night Tide 1 released by Burbank Video. Spine, a spine, top, the back. Ink label, no print date. That's it for part 1, see you in part 2.